spoken about. Joining me now is Julian Michaels, world-renowned fitness trainer, certified nutritionist, and life coach. Julian, thank you for uh, being here. Appreciate it. Before I ask you about the investigation, what does it mean to be a certified dietitian? To be a, a dietitian. Well, a registered dietitian is an individual with a degree in nutrition. So it oh. makes it that much more. Yeah, no, it's actually right. the worst of the worst <laughs> because these are the people that are the most responsible and the most trusted when it comes to food. I'm just a nutritionist, which means I have a crappy little certification. <laughs> and in truth, I go to registered dietitians that are on my staff to make sure that my information is quality but this is not registered <laughs> dietitian <laughs> rhetoric. These are people that are paid off by big food. And I swear to God, we need something like a Hippocratic oath in nutrition because this is disgusting what but, I just watched. But you're also not surprised. No. I'm not, because it's a tale as old as time, and to be dead honest with you, I was having this exact fight with producers on Biggest Loser decade and a half ago, because General Mills was paying money to integrate their products on Biggest Loser, and I refused to do the integration, so I was like, this is crappy food, it's what's contributing to the obesity epidemic, and I won't be a part of it. And it was an ongoing war that I had with the producers the entire time I was on the show. It's old news, this story. So do you think that this, let's call it expose for a moment, mm. um, even though yeah. to you it's not surprising, um, it, do you think that this is going to change any behaviors? Is it going to put a spotlight on General Mills and some of these other companies in a way where they may think twice, or you think this is just going to continue? Absolutely not. It will not. So what you have to be mindful of, we have to safeguard ourselves. We have to take agency and we've got to employ common sense because all of our institutions of trust are being corrupted. Mm -hmm. The doctors are being paid off. All the research is being paid for by big food. Do you really think chocolate milk is an exercise recovery drink? Of course it's not. And now the dietitians are being paid off. So we need to use our common sense, do a little bit of our own homework and you can look at the posts. They'll say sponsored. There's a hashtag that says sponsored. Look for who has paid for the study and you'll know what the incentive is behind it. Follow the money. Yeah, but people forget that Fruit Loops is made with real fruit. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so let me let me ask you about let me let me ask you about Ozempic. You've uh, been very yes. you've been very outspoken um, about yeah. Ozempic. It's not directly related to this, but we are talking about the age of Ozempic. Your thoughts on it? It actually is directly related to this. It's a flip side of the exact same coin. You have the opposite narrative pushed by big pharma instead of big food. So they get you coming and they get you going, right? Oh no. Oh God, go crazy. You could be healthy at any size. You get big, you get sick. Oh my God, you're big and sick. This is gonna kill you. You have a disease. So that's the narrative from Big Pharma, which is how they push Ozempic onto you. You see, obesity is a medical disease and you need pharmaceutical interventions and or a surgical <laughs> adjustment to your digestive system to lose this weight. And it literally is absolutely a vicious circle that they catch you up in. And again, we've got to open our are, eyes, take agency, and just say no. Are you opposed to Ozempic? I am opposed to Ozempic, but not because I think it's an easy way out. I, if it was an easy way out, Dan, <laughs> I would take it. I, I would sell it on my website. I mean, there's absolutely no reason for me to tell you this, it, it, except for the research that I have done on it and the information that I have been given from PhDs and MDs, and I can outline all of that for you if you like, but the bottom line is it's not a permanent solution. It has very serious side effects. You will ultimately plateau on it. You can never get off of it because all of the meta-analysis show us you gain all the weight back and then some, and I could, we could go deep into the science, but I promise you it's all true. And now you can buy it in bulk at Costco. Why um, not cash in? Yeah. Jillian Michaels, thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.